What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and I produce daily content for homeowners and new and up and coming HVAC technicians teaching you everything you need to know about heating and air conditioning. And on today's service call we found a unit that the customer said was just not cooling. We ended up finding it low in Freon and we basically got Freon back in for the customer. Got them up and happy. So if you want to see how I figured it out and how I fixed it Join me, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm here at the customer's house, and I just talked to the homeowner. What he's telling me is that his air conditioner will not cool. He says air is blowing out of the vents. He says he can see the outside unit working, but he says he walks around to it, and he can't hear the compressor running. So he thinks the compressor is not working. It's not pumping Freon, so that's why it's not cooling. So what we're going to do, since we, we know the, the blower is working, we know that it's getting power uh, to our air conditioner. Uh, air is coming out of the vent, so we know our blower motor is working. First, the place we're going to start at is the condensing unit. So, guys, I'll meet you over at the condensing unit in just a second. Okay, guys, we're over here at the condensing unit. <clears throat> we can see our fan blowing. but it doesn't sound like our compressor is running. So we need to check our Freon charge and see if that compressor is actually coming on. Okay. I guess our compressor is running. It's a very, it's a very quiet compressor. I couldn't even hear it running. But by checking our Freon charge, you can always tell if your compressor is running. If your <clears throat> compressor is not running, your suction gauge and your high side gauge will be equaled out. So basically, they could both be reading 100 and 100. That will always let you know if your compressor is not running. So if you don't hear it or feel any Freon going through your lines, always check your Freon charge and that'll tell you if your compressor's running. And this one is, and if you look at our suction here, we are well below freezing on our suction side. And on today, the temperature that we're at today, this head pressure should be right around 300. So we need to go ahead and get some Freon, pop it in, and get them some cooling back up. All right, I checked on the inside unit, and on this unit, this has a TXV on it. So we need to charge this system by subcooling. I've got my temperature probe hooked up to my high side line. My temperature is 79. And I'm reading on my high side about 85 so we're only getting about a six degree subcooling on this and what we're looking for is 15 on this unit so we will start uh, charging this unit up with R410A now one thing to note is on R410A you always want to charge this in liquid form so you always take your bottle turn it upside down what we're going to do is we're going to let liquid in on our low side this will raise both our pressures. And what I'm typically trying to look for on this, on our pressures for R410A is usually about 125 on suction and right around 300 on head. So let's go ahead and get this charged up. All right, our suction is 125 and we're just over 300 in head. And our temperature is 78 degrees on our liquid line. So that's right around a 19 20 degree subcooling so that's within range of, of what we need for subcooling so let's check our superheat and make sure our TXV is metering properly all right our suction like I say is 125 we're in about 44 our Lick, uh, suction line temperature is 63 so we're getting about a 20 degree superheat and on a TXV that has a fixed superheat uh, that's right in line for 
a properly working TXV. So we got this system charged up properly. So all we got to do is clean everything up and I'll see you back in the truck. All right, pretty easy service call. The system was just low in Freon. Had to put in about a pound of R410A in the system. Remember when the customer said that he couldn't hear the compressor? To be honest, I couldn't hear the compressor going either. I didn't think the compressor was running when I went around. The only way you can verify that is to put your gauges on by checking your Freon charge. If your pressures are not equalized, that will let you know the compressor is running. So, found the system a little low in Freon. We charged the Freon up. We knew it had a TXV. We charged it up, got about a 20 degree subcooling. We got about a 20 degree superheat, which is within range of what this system should be running. Went inside, checked the temperature drop, getting about a 19 degree temperature drop on the air conditioner. And so, right around that 18 degree temperature drop, if you're getting that, we know the AC is working properly. His AC is working properly, so he's all set and ready to go. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you joining me on another service call. And if you learned something, please hit that like and subscribe. It means so much to me. And as always, I will see you on the next service call. Bye, guys.